Hello! And here I am still, last day in North Dakota, in a little town called Kildeer. And I have lost my can of soup, but I am now perched, well, my phone is perched on an upside down paper cup. This may work. This may all go horribly wrong. Doesn't matter, because I'm here and I'm just doing it. So I'm reading something from Love Letters on June the 4th of 2020, shortly after all the chaos everyone knows about. Um, and we're talking about change here. So off we go. Change, like weeds in a garden and dust on the bookshelves, comes daily. Every minute of every day, everything is changing. Blue ça change. Blue, c'est la même chose is a lie. Change. The ancient little bench in the park is the place I go to at ten past four every day. Only today, something's changed. I'm struck dumb and freeze in mid-stride. Someone's sitting on my bench. My beautiful bench. My pool of peace and tranquility in the lost forest of Blackthorn Park. A sleepy place where no one comes at ten past four. Is taken over. I don't know what to do. I look this way and that like a squirrel searching for those lost nuts. Not sure whether I should walk on, turn around or simply kick them off my bench. Then I stop this crazy thinking and look at my watch. Maybe it's the wrong time. No, 11 minutes past four says my watch and I look up again and they're still there, still immersed in some book or other. Now what? Shall I challenge them? After all, it's my time. It's my bench. I take two steps forward and stop again. A little shiver runs down my spine. I don't like change. I come here, sorry, I've come here for the past 14 years and no one's ever been on my bench. This is not serendipity. This is stealing. My bench, my time, my silent place. My hands are clenching together into fists and I take three more daring steps. And right then, she looks up and smiles. I'm disarmed. The smile hits me like a dart in the chest and all my anger and resolve melt into forgiveness. Hello, she says. Won't you join me? You look tired. So that was it. That was my little piece of writing from 2020, read to you from this funny little town of Kildeer, which I probably never will come back to again. And there you can see it through the window again. The snow is melting, thankfully, which means my drive to the airport tomorrow should be less eventful than last time. Stay well, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.